please tell me about yourself thoda ek introduction thank you sir for giving me the opportunity to introduce myself my name is adarsh singh tagore i am from sagar madhya pradesh i did my bachelor's of engineering from jabalpur engineering college the stream of civil engineering after that i pursued master of technology from indian institute of technology gandhinagar and uh, during my tenure at the gandhinagar uh, i had published two research papers um, the topic of the research paper was to study the dynamic behavior and characteristic failure response of low plasticity cohesive soil and currently i am doing a job in national high speed rail corporation as a senior executive and uh, during my time at this organization i was looking after the uh, geotechnical investigation and uh, foundation construction for first bullet train project of india along with that i was also looking after the acs bigets geotechnical laboratory situated in surat sir okay great great so let's start with your environment snap right yes so we are having environment snap for uh, hpcl right hpcl interview Yes, sir. Great, great. So, Adarsh, can you write the formula of sludge age in ASP? Sludge age in ASP. And what ASP. is what do you meant by sludge age, basically? Uh, so, the sludge age can be defined as the time, uh, the the duration of time at which uh, the duration of time at which the sludge remains in the sedimentation tank can be defined as the sludge age. and what is the sludge age let us consider let just give me the formula considering the mlss concentration in the effluent as zero uh, if it is zero sir then i think recirculation is there in asp yes sir ah uh, sir i don't exactly remember the formula sir okay what do you mean by food biomass ratio food to biomass ratio ah uh, sir food to biomass ratio can be defined as like there are two uh, there are a process which is going on uh, so basically we have microorganisms and organic matter so microorganism will consume organic matter and decompose themselves so this is the process and in this process we can term food as uh, organic matter and uh, mass as microorganisms how do we measure microorganisms and how do we measure food ah uh, sir there are terms we find for them ah uh, sir food we generally measure in the terms a uh, mic uh, like we measure it in terms of uh, bod no okay. chemical oxygen demand and uh, a uh, second one i don't exactly remember sir okay okay no issue okay so my next question to you will be <clears throat> what are the different kind of alkan uh, ions present which contribute towards alkalinity in water uh, sir the main ions which are produced for alkalinity are oh minus co3 two minus and hco3 minus okay and if i ask you yeah sorry so if i ask you that if i am asking you caustic alkalinity which ions will contribute towards caustic alkalinity uh, sir uh, towards caustic alkalinity only oh minus ion will contribute what are carbonate hardness and non carbonate hardness how do you measure carbonate hardness and non carbonate hardness if you have different ions like co3 minus is co3 2 minus is present carbonate ions is present bicarbonate ions is present then calcium ion is present magnesium ion is present sodium ion is present and uh, chloride ions are present write these ions and ions are carbonate yes. bicarbonate and chlorides and cations are calcium magnesium and sodium So, how will you measure carbonate yes, hardness, sir. and how will you measure bicarbonate non non carbonate hardness? Yes, sir. Carbonate hardness will be due to the presence of uh, uh, calcium, calcium and magnesium ions. So, first of all, we will find out the. Ah, uh, first of all, we will find out the hardness due to magnesium and calcium, and along with that, we will also find out the alkaline alkalinity, and. 
from this we will find out which one is the minimum one so the minimum one will be contributed towards the uh, carbonate hardness and if uh, total hardness is greater than that of alkalinity then we can uh, minus it and we can find out non carbonate hardness from that sir okay will chloride ions contribute towards alkalinity uh alkaline no sir chloride ions will not contribute towards alkalinity sir and will sodium ions contribute towards hardness uh, sir it directly it does not uh, contributes to hardness but uh, if it is in excess then it may produce pseudo hardness sir okay okay can you write the efficiency of trickling filter formula single stage trickling filter or standard trickling filter efficiency uh yes sir yes please write for uh so the formula will be 1 upon 1 plus 0.0044 under root mu by f mu will be the organic loading f will be the uh, recirculation factor what is organic loading and what is recirculation factor uh sir organic loading we can define as the how much bod we are applying in the sediment uh, trickling filter and uh, recirculation factor can be defined in case of uh, standard rate of standard rate trickling filter that how much of uh, sludge we are recirculating so it can be defined as uh, 1 plus 0.1 r divided by 1 plus r and that r will be the ratio of the sludge that has been recirculated divided by the sludge that has been applied okay okay <clears throat> so you said it is 1 upon 1 plus 0.44 w by vf right f is recirculation factor yes sir. but in standard rate trickling yes. filter do we recirculate the uh, effluents as uh, sir in standard rate trickling filter we take f equals to 1 and we do not recirculate in case of standard rate trickling filter but if we are having a high high rate trickling filter in that case we are recirculating sir okay okay so my next question to you will be what are the three four gas greenhouse gases which are present in the atmosphere which are contributing towards greenhouse effect ah uh, sir carbon dioxide uh sulfur dioxide and uh, next will be carbon monoxide and uh, next will be no2 sir okay what are the order of their con uh, concentration can you order them uh so first of all um, first one will be sir carbon dioxide then it will be uh, sulfur dioxide or nitrogen oxide they are i think kind of in the same concentration and after that there will be uh, carbon monoxide you must have heard about two conventions regarding something so two convention the vienna convention and montreal protocol what are they regarding about uh, so they are regarding about use of chlorofluorocarbons uh, due to which there is a ozone depletion taking place in the stratosphere so is cfc a greenhouse gas or not uh yes sir we can consider it as greenhouse gas sir Mm. let me i think so yeah yeah sure sure it will not be termed as a greenhouse right yes okay my last question to you is what is sub adiabatic lapse rate and what is super adiabatic lapse rate i mean when it will when it will be when the lapse rate when we call the lapse rate as super adiabatic and when do we call the lapse rate as sub adiabatic i don't exactly remember sir no issues no issues okay then okay let me give you your feedback actually mm, yes, so other uh, i see some improvement to be very frank you know you have improved from the last time which i feel but still i think you might not be able to revise some you know yes sir because you might be busy i know you are working as well <clears throat> 
but we need to revise this right <clears throat> yes sir okay so basically in asp we do we find sludges sludges is the time the suspended matter will be in the uh, you know asp yes and this is the suspended matter in the asp to the it is basically the ratio of suspended matter the time taken by the suspended matter in the you know asp to the suspended matter removing or removed from the asp right yes so sir. basically the sludge sludge age is equal to capital v into capital x upon qr xr where capital v is the volume of the aeration tank x is the amylases concentration in the aeration tank upon qr is the recirculation volume discharge and xr is the amylases concentration in the recirculation recirculated sludge right yes sir yeah then i asked you food by biomass rate food by biomass ratio basically food so then you said if amylases concentration will be zero will be zero in the effluent not in the recirculated okay sir that is a difference so q, there might there is also a term vx upon qr xr plus qw yes, into plus xc qw into xc so yes. xc will be zero so qw xc will be zero but this will remain same right okay yes, sir after that i asked uh, food to biomass ratio basically food is bod in our case which is the biodegradable organic matter and the biomass is organic matter which is measured in the terms of mlss or mlvss right yes sir after that i asked you carbonate hardness non carbonate hardness you answered it correctly right after that i asked you what is the efficiency of trickling filter basically it is 100 upon 1 plus 0.44 root w by vf where w is kg of bod per day bod is measured in kg per day v is the volume of the <coughs> trickling filter trickling bed basically trickling filter bed and f is the recirculation factor Which is equal yes, to one plus r upon one plus point one r raised to power two whole square. Yes, sir. Now in a standard case, if the recirculation ratio is one, basically it's not recirculation factor is not one, but the recirculation ratio yes. is one. So it will be equal to one plus one upon one plus point plus one point. times one whole square. Right? You get yes. my point. So there is yes. a slight difference. We do not recirculate in case of standard trickling filter. That is true. But the recirculation ratio will be one, not recirculation factor, right? After yes. that, I asked. After that, I asked you two protocols. Basically, you answered somewhat correctly. Basically, they these protocols are regarding the ozone layer depletion, correct? Yes, sir. After that, I the my last question was to you was uh, sub adiabatic lapse rate and super adiabatic lapse rate. Basically, when the environmental lapse rate is greater than nine point eight degree C per kilometer. Then it is super adiabatic lapse rate. Yes, sir. And if it is less than nine point eight degree C per kilometer, I mean, if you move up in the atmosphere, altitude is increasing, and for every one kilometer, if there is an increase in temperature or decrease in temperature greater than nine point eight degree C, then the atmosphere will be termed as super adiabatic. Yes, and vice sir. versa for sub adiabatic. Are you getting my point? So in this way you can answer it. You know your confidence was good, better than before. I mean last time you lost your confidence, right? You were struggling yes. while answering the question, but this time it was not there because I think you somewhat revised and you were confident that I'll be able to answer, right? So there's there's yes. not a problem. It it happens, right? We need to have confidence. It not it's not possible to answer every question, right? That is very common. I told you in the last snap as well, right? And yes. the last question which I asked you was greenhouse gases, basically. Carbon dioxide, methane, CFCs, and nitrous oxide (N two O) are the four major greenhouse gases, right? And CFCs okay. are the you know N two O. Nitrous oxide is the most dangerous. It is two fifty times more you know uh, having a more effect than carbon dioxide, right? So these are the four greenhouse gases. After that, I asked you what is CFCs? How CFCs are you know impacting our atmosphere? That you were correct. Yeah, it, that it impacts you know ozone layer. So I asked you why it is. Is it a greenhouse gas? Yes, it is a greenhouse gas. You know, yeah. and we, from where CFCs are released, basically, it is majorly released from the air conditioners which are available in our uh, residential areas. Right? Yes. So these are the main causes, right? So in this way, you can you know uh, try and improve yourself. I have seen some improvement in you from the last time which we had a snap, right? So it's very good. I mean, stay confident. When is your interview? As on sixteenth, sir. Sixteenth, yeah, great. You still have time, and you are pretty confident. You are looking confident. You know how to introduce yourself. Introduction was great. That was great. You know? yes. So there's no problem in that, right? 
you were confident while answering the questions as well even if you know if you are not able to answer those questions you were still calm and composed so that is a good thing right so yes. be like that if you have uh, any doubt you can ask me nahi sir ab to doubt yeah yeah great okay <laughs> then all the best for your interview and thank you so much okay sir thank you sir okay okay bye bye